previously on Paradise Falls. You didn't tell me you had a daughter. Isn't she beautiful? Welcome to our home. <laughs> I'm going to combine absolute perfection with the majesty of the loon. What are you hiding, Stanley? I'm not hiding anything. Hello, is this Roman Weinchek? Um, I have your suitcase. I must have picked it up by mistake. The bank is going to sell all your assets, and I'm going to buy the marina for nothing. And then I'm going to remove every trace of you like you never even existed. Welcome to the Paradise Falls Community Report. Today's weather, clear skies, calm waters, another perfect day in Paradise Falls. Wait, I got a big day today. How come you're acting different with your daughter here? I'm not. You are. You won't come near me. You didn't come to bed last night. Morning. I gotta go. Today is the day of the big unveiling. What are you unveiling? Uncle Billy's duck. That's right. You should come. What about me? If you want. If you need anything, just ask Jessica. She knows where everything is. So, how long are you planning on staying? I don't know. <laughs> how long have you been going out with him? Not long, but we're very committed, relationship-wise. Yeah, I can see that. Fine. No, I want to look really good. Oh, you do. Um, do you have any extra boxes that I could have? That... Uh, there might be some behind the back there. I think this dress might give me a tummy. Ah, uh, good. Okay, I'm gonna take two, but I might be back for more, okay? I have a date this afternoon. I met him at the airport. Well, actually, I met his luggage at the airport. <laughs> anyway, he wants to take me out for lunch. Isn't that a kick? <laughs> what do you need the boxes for? Well, the bank is closing down the marina. Oh, B. <laughs> and here I am going on about luggage. Yeah, and I have to be out by the end of the day. Oh, oh. Oh. It's gonna be okay. Why would it be okay? Thank you. Bye. Bye. Billy, well, I got the local news guy confirmed, but I'm still going after the national press. They don't usually cover stuff like this. No, but we got a big American star coming. And the uh, Canadian press love American stars. I mean, you could set Anne Murray on fire and they wouldn't give a shit. You know Fenmore's having its fantabulous uh, Oktoberfest this weekend. Yeah, that's a boring turd of a parade. We got a duck statue here. That's what the people want to see. Right. Hey, do you want to see it? No, it's a big fucking duck, right? Yeah. Well, I know what a duck looks like. I mean, it's good though, right? Oh, it's great. Well, that's what I want to hear. My friend, this is going to put us on the map. So, what's on the agenda for today? I'm behind on my Vogue. What about you? I have to go to the office, check on some dates for new rentals. I thought you said all the properties are rented. They are. These are for next month. I see. And how long do you think you'll be gone? Oh, not long. 
The sooner I go, the sooner I'll be back. Oh, excuse me, are, are, are you Roman Wojciech? Yes. Oh, oh, don't get up. I'm Rose Bernini. Thank you for calling me. I was wondering where my bag was. So where is it? Oh, I left it back at my store. I thought maybe afterwards we could go for a walk and, and pick it up. You're not in a rush, are you? My afternoon is clear. Uh, I ordered us an aperitif before lunch. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, not at all. I ordered us some kir. Oh, what's that? White wine with creme de cassis. Oh, is that on the menu? Uh, no, but if you order it shark-sized, they make it specially. <laughs> uh. Rusty Sinclair. She was in Naked Terror. I thought you guys liked American stars. She is famous. You know, she's got red hair, nice tits. Hello? Hello? Everybody is so fucking PC these days. I can't stay. I got a duck to unveil. How come you didn't tell me you had a daughter? I'm not doing this right now. How many other secrets are you not telling me about? You know, I'm not going to put up with the same thing as I did with Nick with you. What, you think I'm gay? No. I mean, the lying and pretending nothing's wrong. I know you're avoiding me. I'm not stupid. I'm very busy. I got a giant duck no one wants to see. How come you don't want Roxy to know about us? Are you embarrassed? You have nothing to be embarrassed about. She's young. She's just getting to know me. I don't want to get her confused. You and me, what we have is more complicated. But we're serious, right? We're sure we're serious enough. Come on, we're just having some fun right now. Well, what about the ring? I mean, we're getting married, aren't we? We might, one day. You know, there's no rush. We got plenty of time. travel a lot. No, but I like to watch those travel shows. They're very interesting. Um, well, where have you been? All over. Paris, Madrid, Rome. Oh, you sound so romantical. What's your favorite place? My favorite place is right here, right now. You remind me of Parisian women. They are very chic. It must be the dress. It's, it's a Quebec designer, House of Leroy. <laughs> I like this drink, it's hot going down. Mm, so am I. <coughs> Kier is the drink for lovers. Uh, you know a lot about mm. wine. Women like men who know about wine, so I learned about wine. Oh, it's a little hot in here. <laughs> You're not into women's clothing, are you? Uh, only on beautiful women. And bad luck's not following you around, right? If you consider losing one's luggage bad luck, but look how it turned out. <sighs> Maybe we should go for that walk now. But we haven't ordered lunch. I'm not hungry. Me neither. Let's go.
Hi. Is this a bad time? It's not a great time. <laughs> but it's, it's good to see you. Morning. You closing down? Yeah, I'm being closed down. <laughs> so, you want to know who I am? Well, this is it, for what it's worth. Which isn't much, obviously. I'm sorry things didn't work out for you. No, you gotta die sometime. Come on, you're not dying. That's what it feels like. But you just can't hold on to things you can't have. <laughs> I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to have you here, Miss Sinclair. Uh, please, call me Rusty. Who are you? Oh, I'm uh, the artist, Billy Hunter. Oh, right. Uh, listen, uh, when does the press get here? And, uh, and the crowds, are they, are they being bussed in? Oh, I think it, th this is it. Um, well, you know Fenmore's having its uh, Fantabulous Oktoberfest. It's uh, very popular. Fun-tabulous. <laughs> it's a local phrase. Um, <sighs> so, um, are you an art lover, Miss Sinclair? Uh, rusty, very. I in our LA home, we have a couple of Warhol lithographs uh, and a Stallone. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, Admiral, uh, I want to talk to you about some other cottages. Mm -hmm. Our movie is going to start shooting next weekend. We're going to need more space. No problem. Uh, we have a lot of available property right now. Why don't I get some descriptions and uh, we can go over them one on one? You do that. I don't think this is going to take very long. <laughs> Aren't you going to stay for the opening, Admiral? Honey, please. It's not going to make a big difference. Whew. In Paris, in the springtime, you can walk along the left bank and smell the chestnut trees in full blossom. Did you drop something? Oh, my bag. But, but it's okay now. <laughs> you were telling me about Paris. Ah. On the Champs Elysees, they have trees that are so high, it hurts my neck to look up at them. Oh. <laughs> but tell me about yourself. Oh, well, there's, there's really not that much to tell. Nothing much happens around here. <laughs> Miss Sinclair, oh, this is indeed an honor. Oh, please, <laughs> call me Rusty. I'm Tony Barone. I'm uh, with the media, the new PF. Oh. Let me tell you, <laughs> I have seen all of your movies. Some of those outfits you wore in Naked Terror were <laughs> outrageous. <laughs> you like them? Oh, my god. The fabric! You know, I'm a celebrity, too. Oh, really? Do you get recognized a lot? Oh. <laughs> well, um, can I ask you, mm -hmm. what's your policy on autographs? I give them. Oh, I, I know. So do I. But um, how much do you charge? selling off all my assets. Cheers. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought you ran away. I came back. You didn't make up with her, did you? <laughs> Don't worry, he doesn't like me much more than you do. He just isn't cruel. Why are you here? I want to make sure she goes. There are the boxes. You happy now? You got what you want, didn't you? You are getting rid of me, okay. And you got the bar, you don't really want it, but you got it, what else, what else? Jessica, you don't really want her, but you got her too, right? She doesn't lie to me, Bob. No. I am not 
not going to apologize to you again. I have said I am sorry to both of you. I thought at the time I was doing the right thing, so fine, hate me. I have loved you both. Or just get her out of here, will you, kid? You can't change the past any more than I can. I'm the same woman you loved a month ago, but you can't deal with that because you're a coward. And you think you're hurting me? No, you are hurting yourself. Now, can I get you another drink, Petal? I need some papers for more rentals. You keep telling me you don't have any rentals. You called me. Actually, I came back to spend some quality time with you. What a shame. And I'm going for a walk. There's this big unveiling in town, a giant duck. You know how much I like big fat decoys. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. It was very kind of you to call me. Would you like to see me again? I don't think so. But you're very sweet. You know, I think I can be perfect for a woman like you. It's just that I'm in mourning. See, that's why I was going to Milan to, to grieve. Rose. You're far too beautiful to be so sad. Let me make you happy. I'm very good at that. <laughs> oh, I'm a devil. <laughs> you are. Oh, the magic. But you know, for me, acting is reacting. No, no, uh, acting is believing, then reacting. Actually, listening, then believing, then reacting. You're a real method actor. Hmm, definitely. So, what comes first for you? Usually the contract, honey. Oh. <laughs> Where's the press? Oh, uh, that would be me, uh, Tony Baroni, yeah. reporter with the new PF. Where are the crowds? Well, Fenmore is having its fantabulous Oktoberfest. Fuck, I hate Fenmore. All right, well, let's get started. Fantabulous, what kind of word is that? <clears throat> Hello. This is Tony Baroni, reporter with the new PF, coming to you from Paradise Falls, where today a major art exhibit is about to be unveiled. Let's listen. Paradise Falls is pleased to announce the unveiling of its newest civic project. To do the honors is the internationally acclaimed actor, the ever-charming Rusty Sinclair. Thank you. Yeah, I've got it. Thanks. <clears throat> Uh, Paris has its Eiffel Tower, Pisa its Leaning Tower, and now Paradise Falls has its own monument of greatness, an original sculpture by local artist, Billy Hunter. Poise, sophistication, charm. That's what Canadians come to expect from visiting American celebrities, and that's what Rusty Sinclair delivers. <laughs> and now it gives me great pleasure to unveil the Paradise Falls Dock. What are those? <laughs> well, they look like tits to me. <laughs> what kind of idiot oh. would put tits on? Just as an aside, <clears throat> breasts like that would require enormous lingerie. It's nature and woman combined. This is art. You are going to pay for this. <laughs> no wonder they call it a loon. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Excuse me, who gave me this? Who the hell gave me this? That's it. The rest belongs to the bank. You don't want to go, do you? It's not important what I want. Are you kidding? Cash it and see. This is for $80,000. That's right. <laughs> where, where would you get $80,000? You work with computers. I own a company. That's how I'm able to spend so much time up here. I don't want your money, you know. I was never after your money. I know, I know, and that's why I'm giving it to you. Why didn't you say something to me? I never tell people. I mean, when people know you're rich, they judge it differently. I, I haven't even told Pamela. <laughs> you are... <laughs> You are giving this to me. I was looking to buy a marina. <laughs> this one suits your taste? Yeah, I think I like its style. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Pete's gonna hate you for this. Well, that'll just make the investment that much better, huh? <laughs> Inside a place where no one's been 